When I met my wife Victoria 20 years ago, she had many amazing things, but being an outdoorsman wasn't one. Hunting wasn't something she grew up with, and at the beginning, she had a hard time understanding why someone would spend so much time chasing animals. <laughs> Some time passed, and after seeing the excitement, the passion and drive I would transmit after coming back from each hunting trip, she realized that maybe she was missing out on something. Fine, I'm fine. Between scared and excited. <laughs> So here we are in Gredos and this is my first mountain hunt and I'm super stoked about it. Um, we have been riding the horse for, I don't know, half an hour. I'm between excited and scared all the time, <laughs> but I'm super happy to be here. So let's go. <laughs> At the beginning, she started coming out with me to the stand just to watch and spend some time together. We all have a hunter inside of us, and one day led to another, and the interest around hunting started growing inside her. She also started shooting a bow, and before we realized it, she was already stalking animals with it by herself. It was better than expected. I wouldn't describe her as a very intrepid person, but the truth is that hunting was pushing her in many ways. Climbing trees, walking in the darkness, guarding animals, suffering all types of weather, huge physical effort. It was a slow journey, but after many years, I was really stoked to finally share our first mountain adventure together. We made it all the way to the top. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> and now we are going to stop and see if we can find any, any ibex. It's really windy. She started hunting with a bow, which is, in my opinion, the hardest way someone can start hunting. Hunting is already hard enough, and making it even harder can be really frustrating sometimes. We left the horses next to the hut, and we are classing this valley, so... It took me some time to convince her that hunting with a rifle could be as fun and sometimes even more rewarding as you can go to some spectacular places and still hope that you will be successful. It is not that much about the weapon you use, but about how you hunt with it. Gredos offered all the adventure I wanted for her first mountain hunt. Beautiful scenery, riding horses, sleeping on a hut with close friends, while chasing Spanish ibex females, in my opinion, was the perfect way to introduce someone into this type of hunting. I do believe that hunting looks way easier when you see someone with experience doing it. But when you are the one taking all the decisions, things get trickier. We've seen a group of five at the end. There are a couple of nannies that are really, really nice and we are stalking because they are like a 300, so we need to get closer. So we are gonna keep stopping. <laughs> I do believe that hunting looks way easier when you see someone with experience doing it. But when you are the one taking all the decisions, things get trickier. Where do I get a solid rest? Which is the best animal to take? What's the right distance? When is the right time to shoot? A combination of hundreds of small decisions that will define the outcome of the hunt. 
with the added responsibility of taking an animal's life. I was aiming and then I had to move because we were not sure if my if I was gonna hit the, the rock. Then I moved, then I couldn't see the nanny. <laughs> then they started running and then one step like stop, look at us, and I was like, okay, there you go. It was by its own, so let's see if it looks like I did a shot, but Pedro's not sure. So we harvested a beautiful old nanny, and I'm super happy. So even though a nanny, an old nanny like this, is not a huge trophy like a male, they, they still provide a, a beautiful experience here in Gredos. You come here to the, these mountains with the horses, and we had, we had amazing weather. I, we enjoyed it every, every single second of the day. And, we have lots of meat. <laughs> it got pretty fun. Congrats. Thank you. You have done an awesome job. Yes. Okay. So each ring, they grow the, the horns during the spring and during the winter. Since there is less food, they stop the growth. So every mark, it's a year. I would say like it's a 10 year old nanny. So, bueno. Now you have to carry it all the way up. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It is it's pretty awesome to be part of someone's journey into hunting and seeing their emotions that remind you that once you were at that same stage. Some things that we already take for granted, how at some point we didn't. Back in camp? Could not be happier. I'm exhausted <laughs> and I haven't carried my nanny. <laughs> now we're gonna have dinner and relax. And the day is over. <sighs> Some will never understand why we hunt, but those who will give it a chance will discover that hunting is way more than harvesting of an animal, and that the reason we do it is far more complex than shooting live creatures. The reality is that the experiences lived during a hunt will bring a wide range of emotions that will make the memories last a lifetime. Eggs with rice. <laughs> Very simple. Very tasty. I couldn't be more proud of my wife and how much she has grown up over the years. Introducing a son, a wife or a friend into hunting is really rewarding, but it always provides a certain amount of fear.
Would it be the right time or the right way? Am I pushing them too hard or too little? The key, in my opinion, is focusing the experience around them and forget about the outcome of the hunt. Focus on having fun and letting them cover the stages at their own pace, while understanding that not everyone has the same drive. Super tired. What level of tired? My legs are shaking <laughs> while I'm walking. Vamos. I'm walking like a 90 year old lady. What's up, Victoria? Let's go mountain hunting, it would be fun, they said. Be careful of what you dream of, because it may come true. I wanted Big to join me on the hunt so I could go hunting more often. But what I never thought is that when she is around, I'm not interested in hunting anymore. Seeing her hunting provides me more satisfaction than hunting for myself. How are you? Exhausted? Happy? I'm proud. Samuel? Any, any last words? It was tougher than expected. <laughs> Get out there and involve into hunting the people that matter you the most. <laughs>